children in Vietnam for their education. Young girls predominantly, but we also have some university students. And um, they're harder to fund because it costs a lot more in Vietnam to go to university than to school. $100 a year will educate many children, but university is about $100 a month. But $100 will buy uniform, is that right? $100 per year will buy uniforms, school satchel, waterproof, some sandals, school books, textbooks. Wonderful organic meal being prepared here. We've got potatoes and tofu. Vietnamese style curry, which is influenced by the Chan of central Vietnam. Uh -huh. The Chan originally came from India. Madras curry, lots of ginger. Curves, onions, zucchini. And the quintessential Vietnamese herb is mint. Well, if video could smell, it would be spectacular. So this is a fabulous vegetarian Vietnamese-inspired meal for all these wonderful people who have come to hear about the Children's Education Foundation. In Vietnam, people are very poor and they're not getting along. You separate and you find a new partner. If you're very poor, you can't afford children from a prior marriage and have new children. So the prior children always go. They either go on the streets, they go into orphanages, or hopefully there is some relative who will help. The girls work hard from very early to very late, and the boys do a lot of coffee drinking, beer drinking, smoking, and chatting. Now, it is a generalization. There are Vietnamese men who work very hard in Vietnam, but the majority of the hard work is for women. Girls are often removed from school when they're quite young because the mother wants her to help at home or wants her to help in the rice fields or wants her to go out fishing. I believe, and I think it's true, and there's a lot of research to show it, that educating females moves them beyond poverty and an arduous life it helps their development, that of their families and society, and helps them become women who have choices. These women, you know, they're every year, year after year, twice a year, they're rice farming. 50% of the children leaving school at around 10 years of age, it results in a high percentage of the nation leaving them the public line. This family, for example, they're very poor. This family, also very poor. Here they're living under four pieces is actually made of matting. One night while we're sleeping, it'll collapse. This is another option. It's cheaper. The government doesn't ask you for any rates. Two thirds of the world's women are in Europe. This is a minority tribe called the Coho. And uh, all these women here, none of them have had an education. So one of the things I do is I work with marginalized groups too. In Vietnam, we've got lepers got minority tribes. I opened up a medical clinic <clears throat> to provide free medicine, free medical care for this tribe in Kahal because their health was so bad they didn't go to school. So instead of forcing them to school when they're sick, I realized the only way I was going to get the community educating their kids was to get the health of everyone up. So I had to do it a very roundabout way. I raised the money for King Vietnamese Meals <laughs> over three yeah, years.
horrible to give them any extra tuition. So often these kids, by the time they get to grade 10, they're failing because they're only getting half their education. So it's a bit of a bleak situation when it comes to education. Last year we chose 12, 13 children who were very good students. This is a project up in the north. So the World Bank found with equipped education for girls, the country's overall per capita income increases in its fertility drop. The good students, uh, the best ones, they get to wear these. It's kind of like going around saying, I've been told I'm a good student. An educated female is less likely to be violated or abused and less likely to be exploited or trafficked. It's very true. If the girls in school, the, tra the, the traffickers aren't going to try and get her to be trafficked. They're getting the kids that aren't in school. Again, the problem children, again, the children whose parents don't care. And they're approaching the people who are really, really poor and really, really desperate. So, even with really poor, desperate families, if we can get their kids to school, they've got very little chance of being trapped. Where if we can step in and pay for their education, the parents will let them stay in school. So, if a parent dies, it changes the whole economic situation. This girl's father died too, and she also, both of these girls were removed from school, and we're, we're putting school starts in a few weeks, and we're putting them back. This little girl, both of both the parents, and she's being looked after by her elderly grandparents. I mean, they, they are elderly. But they're very sweet and very caring. Farming communities are really struggling. Uh, we've had a lot of drought. We've had hailstorms. We've had a lot of typhoons. We're getting more typhoons than normal. And what's happening is a lot of the farmers are having a whole year without any successful crops, which is really serious. So sometimes the parents just leave their kids at home and they head off to a big city to try and earn some money. Some parents never return. Some send money back and don't return, and some I never heard of again. She was in tears trying to tell us how much she wanted to go back to school. This was our first graduate. She's earning 18 times more than the average income. Because she's university educated, she's fluent in English, she's got computer skills, she's got translation, transcribing skills, she's intelligent. You know, when you go through university, you're taught to think more independently. So these are some of the ways you could help. And what's Leadership Matter? It is a professional development company for school leaders mm -hmm. to help support them in facing the challenges they have. And we work in four urban school districts. Some in New York City, Medford Stuyvesant, and Detroit, and Boston. We work a lot in Texas in the border communities. And so this talk would have been close to your heart in some very, very similar. I'm very impressed. Change just even one life. It's a wave. That life will change others and it's really significant. Somebody new mm, I am the one You can curl up inside I am the one Who sees the part of you that's died I'm the one who flinches When you're in pain I am the one who walk with you Talk with you In the rain Everywhere to find, I'm not the one 
who'll impress your folks. I'm not the one who'll always laugh at your jokes. I am the one who holds you when others let go. I am the one who knows your sorrow. I am the one who shivers when you are cold. I am the one who'll be there beside you when we're old. Makes the 